okay this is what the error is still running okay cannot convert float to an integer so, so when doing your data transformation there are levels to different things you want to do so we have um, our non values where you have missing values so there are different ways you want to fill your non values so you could decide to drop it so if you, if you do for example i do a df a df dot drop any df dot drop any there's a, a method called drop any it drops everything all the non values if i run this for example you see that everything we are, everywhere i have none has been removed but sometimes it's not really good to do this because you say it's computationally expensive because you need data data visualization you need data. everything is data so if you are reducing your data you're reducing value so some people have come up with different ways to um address your non values so this i did it didn't it didn't affect the data frame because i i'm I, if i want to make this my new data frame i have to assign so just calling not calling it does not touch my i see my main data frame is still the way it is nothing has been dropped so if i do for example df dot drop and that's when this will remove so there's other ways you could do that you could do df dot fill na for example you could you decide to fill any with something i could say okay df dot fill any with zero uh if i feel you see that all oh, my non value has been filled to, with zero i could say okay i want to fill with a string or something i say okay fill with um something else let's say fill with x if i do fill na with, so all where yeah, i have any has been filled with x so it depends on what you want to do so i could say okay there's also what we call backward fill so if i say um, df dot fill so let me just work with the income column for now income not everything um so if i do this basically so if i do df dot so there's what we call forward fill so it's what this does is so it feels if all these places where we have any it fills it with so this one will be filled with six thousand this will be filled with um seven thousand two hundred so just like forward fill whatever you have so but if i run this okay it feels so you see that we have six thousand two thousand so if you notice that this just calls only the income column forward fill and the backward fill so backward fill you're filling backwards so you are picking so the you you are filling the any with what is in front so you are just like spilling for backward or forward fill you are spilling forward if that makes sense basically so i can say okay i could do in place equals true or i could just come to um, this so i'm reassigning this column to a new column so it's called oh so fill sorry df then df basically so by the time i call my df you see that it has been filled i don't have any non value again so i can easily do this so my income now is now an integer so what i have to also we assign it so if i just call it so if I, one trick you know is for example i run a method and it gives me an output i will know that that wasn't applied to the whole data frame it's just showing me so if i do this for example you see that nothing you don't see anything that means that process has been carried out